Hey gang, it's the last day of winter, so I'm gonna pull the studs out of the tires on my H6. And while I'm at it, let's pull the tennis armor out of here and see how it did after 700 miles in winter time, under screwing studs. But first, let's hear from my sponsor. Yeah, I'm still not sponsored. Oh, I know. This episode of the e Light and Artist is brought to you by Goatheads. These demon seeds have been the bane of man's existence since the dawn of time. The Ayatollahs of punch a bunch of holas, Goatheads. For real though, if you don't want to collect a bunch of these, I highly recommend you get some of these. This bike got loaded up the Goatheads the day I got it. Stuck my tennis armor in there, not a problem since, in about 90 miles. This was my first e-bike and I went through probably four or five sets of tubes the first couple hundred miles. It was bad. The other 2,000 miles on this bike were with TNS armor, not a flat sense. Pretty much the same story with the bike I'm working on today. About 300 miles in, I had gone through a few tubes, stuck my TANIS in, been about 700 miles through the winter with studs on and not a single problem. Now I did get one flat through the TANIS armor on that bike. Three inch nail, not much going to stop that. So I've seen some videos on YouTube where folks say that their armor lost its density after some time on the road. So we're going to pull this out and see if that's the case with mine after 700 miles. But first I got a few little tips for you when it comes to doing this stuff. First you'll notice that front wheel is off the ground. These can be tricky to flip over with all the crap on the handlebars. So I like to hang my bike from the ceiling with a ratchet strap and get whichever wheel I'm working on up off the ground. It makes it much easier to manage. And I like to take some cardboard or something and cram it in between those brake pads just in case the brake lever gets squeezed because then you got a whole other problem. When it comes to working on these wheels, I just like to throw a towel in an old milk crate, stick it on there, makes it real easy to work on. And be sure to stick around to the end of the video. I'm going to give away a set of this 20 by 4 inch Tannis armor. I'm also going to hook you up with a Tannis lever set. Very handy. Comes with a valve tool right there and the right size tubes you want to run in there. You can get away with running your stock tubes in 4 inch tires, but this is optimal. As you're taking the studs out, just grab a hold of it, give your tire a spin, and it'll come right out. No big deal. Alright, I got all my studs out. Guys, you would not believe how many goat head thorns have made their way through this tire. Look at that. There's hundreds. There's hundreds of them. Like, I would be here all day. Oh man, that one hurt. I'd be here all day picking them out. Jeez, and not a single one made it to my tube. That being said, I want to talk to you about the condition of this insert and why people have a problem with it. I'm putting this right back in my wheel, by the way. So this is where I'm going to ruffle some feathers. So when you get this out of the package, it's thick, a little rigid, and misshapen. It's foam rubber. Now after riding it for a while, it forms up to the inner wall of your tire, becomes thinner, but denser. Where people have the problem is they think it's supposed to stay a half inch thick. It's not. It's still thicker than your tire and more rigid. Helps the ride and kept all those goat heads from reaching my tube. That's a win. It's basically like running a tire within a tire. And judging by the amount of goat heads that were in this tire, this saved me so many bad trips, I can't tell you. Worth every penny. So this old liner's fine. I'm sticking it right back in my wheel. And it seems almost asinine to walk you guys through how to install this. It's so easy. Lots of videos have already been done on it, but definitely check out the link in my description. Go watch Hillary install it in the Tannis channel. She's got a much nicer voice than I do anyway. Little hint, get yourself a squeeze bottle and fill it full of cornstarch. Make the job a lot easier.
That's it. Now I'm going to show you how to win a set of these. So since I'm perfectly fine with my old liners, I don't need these. How about you? My email's in the description. Send me a sweet pic of your 20x4 e-bike. So hook me up with some pics. I'm going to use them in a viewer appreciation video. Sweetest picture gets these in the mail. You'll also get a set of the right size tubes. And the sweet lever set. And a few embellishments. Tannis hooked me up, so I'm going to hook you up. You can hook me up by slugging that bug down in the corner. And that, my friends, is why I love me some Tannis on them. If you love it so much, why don't you marry it? Is that my favorite shirt? It's mine now. That goes both ways, you know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the likes, shares, and subs. You guys are awesome. Thanks again to Tannis Armor, Cafferty Cyclery, and Walkie E-Bikes. Remember, foam will get you home. Seriously. Avoid a morning thorning. Keep your air in there. Keep them wheels rolling. Ride it like it's stolen. This stuff stops what makes tubes pops. <laughs> yeah, I'm done.